What up YouTube? Today's video, I want to talk about beautiful faces are everywhere, but beautiful minds are hard to find, right? <clears throat> so, basically, this topic is 100% real, and it's a real topic that nobody wants to discuss. And it's not that nobody wants to discuss it, it's just that it's something small that people overlook you see what i'm saying because the small things are what small things really matter you know small things count so um let's get into it so basically right you got a lot of beautiful people in the world you know that's facts you know what i'm saying like it just depends on you know what type of terminology you use or what slang like she look good or they look good or, you know what I'm saying, blah, 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 all that. You know, I'm not even going to get into all that, but you know what I'm saying. So, a lot of people focus on looks more than they focus on the mind or the soul. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, they want something that look good. A lot of men, they want that trophy wife. A lot of women, they, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of women, they want that trophy man. You know what I'm saying? They want somebody that they can show off. You see what I'm saying? Like, they go for looks. But last time I checked, beauty is only skin deep. Everything that glitter is not gold. You know how many people in the world that's absolutely just beautiful? You know what I'm saying? But they dead on the inside or they secretly evil. You, you see what I'm saying? Or they not right up here. You know, it's a lot of people that look good, but they mind gone. And a lot of people, they won't figure that out until they actually encounter these people. You know, you got a lot of men who chase women that look good. Oh, my God. She gorgeous. She beautiful. You know, she got a body. Blah, blah, blah. They focused on the outer shell. And don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with having somebody that look good. But as long as they have a mind, a soul, a spirit. They actually have love and compassion in their heart. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You see what I'm saying? But if you're just going after somebody because they looks or they body, your mind in the wrong place. You see what I'm saying? So don't nobody want to go after nobody that has a mind. Don't nobody want to go after nobody that has a spirit or a soul. And when I say nobody, I don't mean like nobody wants to. It's like slang for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people... They don't look for those qualities in people because they wasn't taught to look for those qualities in people because social media and the media, multi-ethnic destruction in America, doesn't teach that. You know, the media only teaches negativity. If it's not negative, it's not, if it's not negative, then they're not going to show it. You, you see what I'm saying? Or if it's not about beauty or how you should look, see, the media going to portray an image of how you should look. And the media is tied into Hollywood. You see what I'm saying? Hollywood, they want you to uh, for the women, they want you to be super skinny, long hair, you know what I'm saying? Like, absolutely perfect, no flaws, blah, blah, blah. But the biggest flaw that they don't show because you can't see it because on the inside is the soul. If you ain't got no soul, that's a flaw. You ain't got no mind, that's a flaw. But they don't show that because they look at it on the outside, the outer shell. You see what I'm saying? And then a lot of women, they want to go after men because of their bodies. You know what I'm saying? They... Oh, my God, he has a great body. I want him, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women say, oh, he looks good, this, this, and that. But they're not thinking, oh, is this guy crazy? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what can this guy teach me? You know what I'm saying? Like, what can I learn from him? Because this is facts. A woman will remember a guy that taught them something. Before they remember a guy that bought them something. That's facts. Now, if a woman remembers a guy that bought them something before uh, before a guy that taught them something, they mind gone. Because you can buy anybody anything. Anybody can buy somebody something. It doesn't mean nothing. But when you actually teach somebody something, and you get up knowledge, because when you have knowledge, you know. And when you know something, it's knowledge. The root word of knowledge is know. Because when you have knowledge and get somebody knowledge, that will for always be instilled in them. That will always be instilled in them. Nobody can take that away from you. But if you buy somebody something, that item can be stolen, that item can be broken, that item can be replaced. But knowledge can't be replaced. It can be replaced by bigger and better knowledge, 
but that knowledge still can never be replaced because it's inside of you. Materialistic items can always be replaced. You, you see what I'm saying? Just like how they say you can buy hap- money can't buy happiness. Money can't buy knowledge either. Facts. You can have all the money in the world, but if you don't go out there and seek that information and that knowledge yourself, you will never be able to really get that information. Because you can only learn so much from another person. Don't get me wrong. Humans, we are we are basically like human batteries. We soak up energy. Knowledge is energy. Any words or frequency is energy. So we learn from each other. You can learn from other people, of course, but you would never learn as much by teaching yourself. That's why it's called knowledge of self, knowing who you are and actually seeking out to go get that knowledge for yourself. You see what I'm saying? I'm getting deep with this. So that's a this is a big topic, you know what I'm saying? Or a small topic that people overlook. Everybody's so focused on beauty and what you should look like and what you should dress like. Now, don't get me wrong. I love designer clothes. But just because I love designer clothes don't mean that 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 is what's going to make me. You know, I have a soul. I have a spirit. I know that designer clothes, I know that stuff means nothing. It's materialistic. I like it because it looks nice. It looks good. That's my style. You see what I'm saying? I don't like generic stuff. That's just me. But just because you wear generic stuff, I'm not saying that you're a bad person. I'm not saying that everybody has their own preferences and their own style. Now, if you find somebody that do look good, they look nice, blah, 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 as long as they have their mind intact and their soul intact, you good. You mean you just got a double whammy. You got the whole package. But if you only go out to somebody after they look and you don't care about their soul or their spirit or their heart or their compassion, you lost. And that's what's going on in the world today. Everybody wants somebody that look good. Beauty is only skin deep, just like a thin line between love and hate. The movie with Mark Lawrence and Bobby Brown. <laughs> if you haven't seen this movie, let me enlighten you. One, I think this movie, early 90s, probably late 80s, early 90s. You know what I'm saying? This one, Bobby Brown was skinny. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> prime crackhead. This one, he was in his prime. You know what I'm saying? But this movie was basically about, you know, Martin. He, uh, I think he... Can't, just came back into town or something like that. I ain't seen the movie in a while. He came back into town and he already had a, a, a girl that he'd been like that he grew up with. You know what I'm saying? She looked good and all that, but she had a soul. She had a spirit. She had love in her heart. She had compassion. She was dark skinned. She was melanated. You know what I'm saying? And he said he used to own this club or he was in the process of owning this club. Him and Bobby Brown were trying to get this club. They worked at this club. I think they owned it though. And he seen this girl, I forgot her name, light skin, nice body, you know what I'm saying, smart, you know what I'm saying, she had a, uh, she worked as a real estate agent or something like that, you know what I'm saying, she had her own business, one of the two, she doing well for herself, looked nice, and Martin made a bet with Bobby Brown, like, oh, I bet I can hit that, woo, 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 blah, 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 Bobby Brown, I bet you can't, blah, 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 so Martin kept on going after her, kept on going after her, she kept denying him. She paid attention to this. She kept denying them and turning them down. She kept turning them down. And Martin wanted to get the picture why she kept turning them down. She, no, I'm not interested in you. You're not my type. Blah, blah, blah. Just kept playing them. And one day he came to uh, her job. She was looking at this house. He started talking to her, you know, told her what she wanted to hear, blah, blah, blah. Ended up going to her house, having sex with her. Called Bobby Brown, like, yeah, I hit that, blah, blah, blah. I need my money, woo, woo, woo. And then come to find out, the girl was crazy. Oh, let me go back. I skipped the part. Before he had sex with her, <laughs> she told him that she killed her last husband. And she said she's crazy. Right? And she said, are you okay with that? And Martin wanted to hit that. So what he going to say? Yeah, he going to say he, 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 he understand that he cool with that, even though he wasn't cool with that. So... After, after he hit that, she ended up going crazy and crazy and crazy. If he wouldn't call her, she'd pop up and all type of crazy stuff. And at the end of the movie, she tried to kill him. It got to the point in the movie where she started beating herself up with oranges and slamming her arm in the door and stuff just to say that he abused her just to get him arrested. That's how crazy she was. She didn't have no soul and no spirit. She was smart, but her mind wasn't there. She was crazy, but she looked it good. Beauty is only skin deep. You see what I'm saying? She ended up getting arrested or she ended up getting killed at the end of the movie. But at the end of the end of the day, Martin learned his lesson that just because somebody look good, don't mean they good. Any man I'm telling you, 
just because somebody look good don't mean they for you. Like me, I'm fine as hell. You feel me? You already know. How, you already know. You know what I'm saying? But I know that looks is not everything. I mean, it's good that I look good, and I'm not trying to say that to be arrogant or cocky. I'm just, I just have confidence in my health, and confidence in myself. I have confidence in my health too, but I have confidence in myself. You know what I'm saying? So I know that walking around like I look better than you, I'm better than you. No, I'm not the type of person. I just have confidence in myself. You see what I'm saying? It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? I have a soul. I have a spirit. I have knowledge. I have information. I have compassion. You see what I'm saying? But you get on my bad side, you piss me off. That's a different story. But I ain't talking about that. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Anybody can look good, but that don't mean they for you. You see what I'm saying? But if you only going around just look, trying to date somebody because they look good and not for who they are, you lost yourself. But that's all I have for this message, man. Wake the damn up, man. For real.